Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about this hair, if you can't tell by the title. Today we're going to be featuring the Outre 555 Lace Closure Wig. Yes, this is a human hair blended wig from the beauty supply store. This is their Body Curl 1B 24 inch hair. So I'm showing you guys how you can achieve this look and the fact that this hair comes straight out the box like this. Like I literally didn't do anything to it besides a few little customizations that you really don't have to do is really all up to preference y'all this hair literally looks like i sat in the salon for two hours and got my hair done it looks like i spent four hundred dollars on bundles it looks like some healthy beautiful bundles the hair is literally y'all no tangles at all is literally just running through the curls and it came straight out the box like this i didn't curl the hair i didn't manipulate any type of curls to it or anything it came straight out the box looking like I just sat in the chair for four hours. That's it. And if you guys want to figure out how we can put this wig on our heads to look like we just stepped out of the salon right at home and in less than 15 minutes, then keep on watching. All right, so the first thing you want to start off with is obviously a wig cap. I want to make this super easy. I'm about to head out anyways. I personally love popping on a wig ready to go. Today we're going to be using the Outre Lace Closure Wig. If you guys think that this girl right here, oh, where's she at? If y'all think that she look familiar, it's because she is, okay? And she did. This is me. <laughs> this is me for the Outre line. If you guys don't know, I do model for Outre. Um, but I have been an Outre hair wearer, like, for years. The purple pack was my, mm, in high school, okay? You couldn't tell me nothing. I was that girl. So I'm just going to show you guys how we can achieve this look right here, right at home. So... I got mine in the color 1B, but it does come in multiple colors. And I got the uh, body curl texture because it really reminded me of the one that I had in this shoe. And I really, really wanted this look because I feel like curls like this look so freaking good. And like this straight out the package, I didn't open this yet. As you guys saw that I literally just popped this out of here. What I love about this is that the curls go opposite ways so you know how like usually some people like will curl when you get usual um packaging like at the beauty supply store usually all the curls are curls in one direction this is curled the way we curl our hair away from our face and i love that so you're really gonna get like a really good mm -hmm, stage you feel me so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off okay so now that i have the wig out of here i I'm going to show you guys the construction of the inside of the wig. As you guys can see, it is just a netted wig on the inside. It has the elastic band here. Um, I'm going to be taking my Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Makeup, and I'm going to place that on my wig cap as well as a little bit on... Actually, I'm not going to place it on my wig cap. I'm just going to place it on here, um, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the hairline like on the edge of my wig cap just so that it blends in as you guys can see i have a little bit here because i was cheating i wanted to see if you know the color matches a little bit but that's what we're going to be doing now so once you put it on the inside you also want to go on the outside as well just kind of take the excess or whatever you have and put it on top um you can do this after as well but i like to kind of do it before so that way when we do the holding spray and everything it's easy to put on this is how it looks when i have my wig cap all the way filled pulled forward so you see that it makes the scalp look a little bit brighter and a little bit lighter and then i'm going to show you guys how it looks when i don't have a wig cap like all the way to my hairline and it's pushed behind and then we pull this forward as you guys can see the scalp is just a little bit more darker um it just for me i feel like this is how my natural scalp will look my scalp is not that light and then you can always go in with a little bit of makeup to lighten this as well i'm going to just pull this back just a little bit and then i'm going to take my makeup and i'm going to place that a little bit more on the edges of the hair so that way this really really blends in with the rest of this so it looks like a gradient effect so it looks like it went from um our natural scalp usually is darker here and it gets lighter as you go towards the center. So we want to mimic our the natural scalp as much as, much as possible. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push back the baby hairs because it does have baby hairs on it like this. 
as you guys can see it has like these cute curly baby hairs so we're gonna push those back and we're going to cut the lace in a zigzag um not straight line i don't know how i can show you guys this but you kind of just want to You want to kind of like mimic a natural hairline in a sense and i just feel like the more unstraight your cut is the more natural it lays um you don't want like a straight line across your lace because then you kind of just see that lace sitting on your head so i don't know if you guys can tell or just kind of see the movements that i was doing with my hand but it was not a straight line you put it on you want to make sure that the ear tabs like you will be able to feel the ear tabs are sitting right on your ear this is how you'll know that you have the wig right in the middle so as you guys can see this looks very very realistic i haven't even like secured it on in any type of way this is literally it just sitting on top of the lace that I have I'm not gonna have the wig on my head I just parted a little bit of the hair like this and I'm just I'm um, going to go ahead and pluck the lace a little bit um, we want this to still mimic a natural hairline especially because it's always it's gonna be all the way to the front a lot of people think that you're unable to um, pluck you know beauty supply store hair or anything what I love about Outre's lace in their hair is that it is definitely customizable you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to still achieve and once you do a little bit you kind of want to comb out the rest you don't want it to get tangled you want to pull out all that hair that you pulled out as you guys can see but now for my favorite part i went ahead and pinned the hair back like you guys see how like customizing the front of the hair really gives like that natural hairline like i said theirs is pre-plucked as well so you really don't have to if you don't want to or if you feel like you don't really know how to um pluck the hairline that well and you really don't want to like do too much and like mess up the unit i would say to just let it leave it as is because it's also plucked very very well as well so as you guys can see you're just like picking and pulling to just kind of like create that like natural thinness that your hair would have but you don't want to over pluck either and create like ball spots because that's not cute that is not what we're trying to go for okay so now that the lace is sitting where i want it to be i'm going to take my jazz hairspray it is it is better than got to be like i'm i mm, I don't know it is it literally is because it gives you holds if you really want holds and it also gives you flexibility if you want flexibility depending on how you're using it so clearly we want holds um so I'm going to go ahead and place this like behind the hairline here behind the the baby hairs and kind of like use my finger to lay it in and then some of you guys are going to see this amount like right before your eyes so now I'm going to put my blow dryer on warm and then we're going to dry this. And then you can also place it under your lace as well. So I'm going to do that on this side. I'm going to spray it under and kind of use my finger to drag this out. And I would love using hairspray because it gives you more flexibility and you are you know you can lay, lay this right on top of your um baby hairs your natural baby hairs and it won't damage your hair so i love using hairspray and i love that they make their baby hairs curly because they really mimic natural hair like if my hair was this type of like curl pattern my baby hairs would be curly i can't believe that this is a freaking beauty supply store wig y'all i'm telling you it'll change your life so let's go ahead and find my middle because i have this issue where i never know where my middle part is <laughs> So I want to find my middle part first and then we can go ahead and style this where we need to style it. I think this is the middle of my head. Okay, I think that's middle. That's as middle as it's going to get. I don't have time. <laughs> so I really need to hurry up because we got to go out, okay? Take some of the Jazz Free Spray. Spray it on my brush. 
very lightly and we're just going to brush our baby hairs so good stop playing with me what The brush that I'm using is Joss the Boss brush. This is her foundation brush actually. And I'm using that to kind of like really buff this in. I'm just putting a little bit of um, foaming mousse on my edges. It gives the hair a little bit of weight so that way it'll move how you want it to move. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of hairspray and we're just going to bring this back because we really want this to have some volume. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some anti-frizz moisturizing finishing spray and I'm just going to spray this throughout the hair. This is just going to wet it just a little bit and just cause the frizz to go away. It also smells really good. <laughs> I don't want to add anything that has like a lot of shine to it or anything. So this is kind of like just a liquid that will like combine the curls together. And then we're just going to use the wide tooth comb to really get through that. Oh, this looks so good. So now I'm just taking a paddle brush. Now that I finished blow drying the leave-in conditioner out. And I'm just brushing. You're not telling me nothing. You cannot tell me that this is a um, beauty supply store wig. You cannot tell me that this wig is less than a hundred dollars. Like, are you kidding me? But let me go back so you guys can see, really see like how this hair looks. freaking pretty you can't even tell me that this is a human hair blended wig you can't tell me that like what are you kidding me the only other step that we have here let me just spray some because I really want this to give that like I just put a hot comb through it, you know, right here. So I'm gonna lift my finger. The last step that we're going to be doing, my camera's about to die, is take the um, any type of concealer that you have because we can't bleach our knots. We don't want nobody clocking us to tell us that you know, they could see the knots on our lace. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of concealer and we're gonna pop that right in here just to hide that lace. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that is the tutorial. This looks so freaking good. Like, I don't even know, like, what to tell you guys. Like, it literally speaks for itself. Like, that was the easiest install, like, literally ever. Okay? I hope that I broke it down to you guys good enough for you guys to see how to achieve this look. You don't have to break the bank in order to get a very realistic lace wig like this literally looks like it cost me four hundred dollars to do because the girls out here are charging four hundred dollars three hundred dollars two hundred and fifty dollars to put on a wig and you can do it right at home it's so easy this took me less than 30 minutes and no one can ever tell me that this is a synthetic wig like you can't tell me that it gives body it gives i curled this i took for you know, I took my good hour and a half to curl my hair and make sure that it was perfect. Like, the way it frames the face so perfectly. Like, this is just me. If I was a wig, this would be it. I mean, I'm on the wig black, but you know what I mean. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box down below so that you can go ahead and get you a wig as well. Um, I just really love this wig. I feel like 
this is a perfect wig for anyone who doesn't want to do too much in the morning or doesn't want to do too much and they're about to go out you could literally just use holding spray you don't have to use glue you don't have to irritate your skin you can take it off at night and pop it back on in the morning like i showed you guys even when it wasn't like sprayed down with hairspray it melted into my skin beautifully so you don't need to melt it down with hairspray. I just like the hairspray because it gives a little bit of extra security. And like I said, I'm going out. So I definitely want to make sure that this stays on my head all night. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope that this video helps you to see that you do not have to break the bank in order to get a really good wig. But to get a really good wig and get a really realistic look, I hope that I give you guys some tips and tricks on how you can customize it to really make it look like it mimics your hairline it really blends into the skin so beautifully like you cannot clock me you can't but like i said before don't forget to check the description box so you can go ahead and get yourself a outre 5x5 closure lace closure wig as well don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video